So if you're watching this video, there's a good chance your camera overheated when you were shooting video and you're gonna look for a solution. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a few potential fixes that might help you. Again, it's just kind of an inherent design flaw of Sony cameras that they overheat, but there are some things that you can do to, you know, cool them down a little bit. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So if you haven't done this yet, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is hit your menu button, go up to tab five, like the suitcase, page two, and set your auto power off temperature to high uh, that's not going to damage your camera or anything, but it is going to let it shoot for a lot longer before it shuts itself off from getting too hot. Another good thing to try is using a fast SD card, UHS-2, which is what the camera supports, and then also using an OEM Sony battery. Now, I'm a big fan of third-party batteries, but the simple truth of the matter is sometimes the Sony batteries just don't heat up as much, and that's going to be like the main cause of your overheating issues. So, try using the camera, I'm sorry, the battery that came with your camera, and try a faster SD card and see if that helps. And now it's time for three like physical solutions that can help. The first is going to be to flip out the screen. If after you after you shoot video, if you feel the back here, like kind of behind the screen, it actually gets pretty hot. So flipping out the screen, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it can definitely keep the temperature down a little bit. So anytime you're shooting through okay video, I would suggest just taking out the screen a little bit. Next, another option you can do is take out the battery completely and plug in the camera via USB-C. Um, obviously you're gonna need a continuous power source, so you could use like one of those like little phone battery banks, or you could just plug it into an outlet if you're shooting in a studio like I am. And then finally, the last solution is kind of stupid, but it's also actually the most effective, and that's keeping the battery door open. Like I mentioned earlier, the battery is your main source of overheating in the camera. So if you keep this little flappy door open, it allows the heat to just like push itself out, and it helps keep the camera clear. If you do anything in this video to fix the overheating, this is probably going to be the most impactful. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the video, guys. But these fixes, it might not completely fix the overheating issues on your camera, but it should make it, you know, not seem like it came out of a 350 degree oven after you're done shooting some video. Um, if this helped you guys, you know, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. If you're looking for more information about the a7 III in particular, I actually have an entire series of guides on the channel, and I'll link that up here somewhere. So yeah, thanks for watching, and stay cool.